Ever wondered why the Earth shakes sometimes? You might have heard all sorts of answers, from the planet getting a case of jitters to the Earth's belly rumbling, perhaps you've even imagined Mother Earth sneezing. But let's shake off these humorous misconceptions and get down to the nitty-gritty. Earthquakes aren't the result of the Earth's caffeine overdose or celestial allergies, so what causes our solid ground to tremble beneath us? Well, it's not because the Earth had too much coffee, let's dive into the real science behind earthquakes. Earthquakes, or as I like to call them, Earth's unexpected dance moves, all start deep below the surface. Picture this. The Earth's crust, our sturdy dance floor, is made up of several large, rocky pieces, known as tectonic plates. These plates are constantly on the move, albeit at a pace slower than a snail's marathon. Now imagine these plates as dancers engaged in an eternal tango, sliding past each other, colliding or pulling apart. Now where the magic, or shall we say the shaking, happens is at the edges of these plates. These edges, known as fault lines, are the dance battle zones. When plates move past each other, they sometimes get stuck due to friction like dancers stepping on each other's toes. But, as the plates continue to move, pressure builds up at these fault lines. So, what happens when two dancers step on each other's toes for too long? You guessed it, they let go, sometimes with a dramatic flare. Similarly, when the pressure at the fault lines becomes too much, it's released in the form of seismic waves, causing the earth to shake, shimmy and shudder. These seismic waves are what we feel as an earthquake. So next time the earth decides to shake its groove thing, remember it's just tectonic plates doing their thing. Alright, let's recap our earthquake knowledge, shall we? It's all about those tectonic plates, the earth's very own jigsaw puzzle. These massive slabs are constantly on the move, albeit at the speed of a snail with a serious case of Monday blues. But when they collide, slide or grind past each other boy, do they put on a show? This friction leads to stress, build up, like a pressure cooker waiting to let off steam. The release of this pent-up energy causes our dear earth to shake and shimmy, a phenomenon we know as an earthquake. In simpler terms, it's the earth throwing a tantrum because it can't decide which way to move. So the next time you feel the ground beneath you shake, it's not your coffee kicking in, it's the Earth's tectonic plates doing their dance, and there you have it, a quick rundown on why the Earth can't resist a good shimmy now and then, remember it's not the coffee, it's the plates.